Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this battery operated grass trimmer. Found it on garbage day, it doesn't work. And the nice thing about this trimmer is the frame is steel, which is great. I could bring this in to a scrapyard. But before I bring it in, there are some goodies I want to take out of the um, handle as well as the end. There's some silver contacts. There's some brass. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take it apart, show you how to separate the stuff, where to find the goodies, and most important, divert as much of this away from the landfill as possible. So the first thing, most important I think in this is because it is battery operated, there is always a battery that goes with it. Um, the battery that came with this actually works, so I am not going to throw it out. But just to show you, this is another type of battery. This came off of a, a drill, this one doesn't work. And we want to make sure these stay out of the landfill. There is lead inside of these. Uh, any type of battery at a scrapyard, uh, your household batteries, batteries from cars, boats, uh, lawnmowers. These are its own category because of the lead, so these will go to a scrapyard. Um, and uh, the nice thing is, is again, you're diverting it away from the uh, landfill. We definitely don't want these to go into the water system. So batteries, this one, <clears throat> and it's paid by pound. This one's about uh, a pound and a half. Um, so I just throw them all together and I'll bring it in. Okay, so battery. Uh, on the shaft here, there are a number of screws that I had to take off. And there's just one left that I want to get. Uh, there it is, boom, boom, boom. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. The battery, actually, if you've ever seen one of these, the battery will slide inside of here. Okay, uh, there it is, right on the handle. Take that last battery out. Or... Okay, and there is a cord, as you can see, that goes all the way down the shaft. Uh, I'm just gonna actually cut it off right now so I can access this handle first. And I'm gonna get that after. But inside, this is what the inside of it looks like. There is right here a silver contact. You've got some lower grade copper wire right there. Um, and the lower grade copper wire in Canada is about 20 cents a pound. The reason we call it low grade wire is if you look at it, it's very flimsy. There is uh, a lot of plastic on there, not much uh, copper in it. Um, so when you go to the scrapyard, you definitely want to separate this from any type of appliance wire. Um, that's about a dollar a pound. Um, if you put it all together, you're going to get the lowest price. So this will go into a separate bag for low grade wire. Um, I do want to take out this silver contact box and I'm going to show you what's inside of this. Okay, I'm going to cut it off. I'm just going to take a hammer and I'm going to break it. safety glasses uh, and all I'm going to do very lightly there is some nice brass connectors on it but I just want to pop the top off okay so it's going to fold off like this okay and inside you're going to see several different uh, spots and I'm just going to pull one away so as you can see, right on the tip there, there is a silver dot. That is actually silver, it's a silver contact. So what I do is actually, there's two of them in here. Um, you find these types of boxes in a lot of electronics, microwaves, dishwashers, uh, and I am gonna have an upcoming uh, video showing you the different types, so when that comes in, stay tuned. But what I do with these little silver contacts, I actually uh, break them off. I put them into a little vial and hopefully one day I will hit them with some nitric acid and make a silver bouillon. But really nice silver inside there. Uh, it, there's not a lot, but it definitely adds up. Um, and that, there is a little bit of steel as well on there that I'm going to take off. Uh, the screws I take off. Unfortunately, our municipality here in Canada, um, we are not able to recycle the plastic. I wish we could. Um, but we don't have the means as of now, so unfortunately this is going to go into the landfill after I remove the rest of it, okay? 
The shaft here is steel, so if I put a magnet to it, it does stick. But again, you can also see the nice cord. Uh, this cord will definitely go into my appliance cord, and it goes all the way down the shaft. So I do have to remove it. Um, it's going to go all the way down to the, the head. There are a couple more screws that I need to open, but I'm going to get those. Some people do use a drill. I don't. Uh, I find uh, this actually pretty therapeutic. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully pop this off to remove the plastic. There's about eight screws in here. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a hammer because I think all the screws are out now, just to loosen it up. Okay, so the shaft, this is just going to break it off. I'm just going to break it. Um, there is actually a nice spring inside there. Uh, be careful it doesn't fling out at you, but it is going to go into my metal pile right there. Okay, I'm just going to, there's a cap, hit this. All right, so. There is still a little bit of plastic on here, but because the price of uh, steel right now isn't high, I can actually just leave this on there. There is screws going all the way up this handle. Um, I can, like I said, uh, just leave it for the weight, uh, but this is steel. Um, there is, you know, a little bit of plastic. I, I can take this off, but the rest of this, I'm just gonna leave it intact. Uh, as you can see, this has the ability to collapse and open. Um, but this is steel. The cord here, <clears throat> as you can see, goes all the way down to the copper bearing motor. I'm actually just going to hit this with a hammer uh, to open it up further, or just actually pry it open, I think. Okay, there's one more screw, but you can see right there, there's a nice copper bearing motor. And this copper bearing motor is in Canada its own price. It's about 10 cents a pound, um, which is great. Uh, I'm going to get to that. Uh, I'm going to first remove the screws. Okay, there's a couple screws just right here that are kind of attached to the copper bearing motor. And the nice thing for me is. I could take the time to take apart this screw by screw and keep it nice, but because it's going in the trash anyway, to me it really doesn't matter. Okay, slide that out. So this cord, this is going to be, as I said, categorized differently because it does have, if you look inside, more copper. This will go into my insulated appliance wire, which is about a dollar a pound. It's not a pound, but I throw it in a great big bag and it adds up. Um, so I definitely want to keep this separate from my low grade wire. The rest of this is plastic. Okay, there is some springs inside. The nice thing is sometimes you can actually get some really nice spools of the uh, whippersnapper wire that is still a great condition. Uh, this one is frayed, so this is gonna go in the garbage. But the rest of this head will go into, right here, there is some steel springs. So I am going to leave this uh, for my steel pile. But I'm just going to open this up further with a hammer just to get the copper bearing motor out. Okay, there you go. So this motor, um, I do have a video on copper bearing motors, when to separate them uh, from the steel to get the copper out. A motor like this is not worth my time to take off. It is very uh, wound, uh, tightly entwined in there. Um, so I'm actually just gonna leave this as is. I throw them into a, a bucket. These copper bear motors in Canada right now are about 10 cents a pound. There is definitely a pound and a half, two pounds here. So it is definitely a good score. Um, I will take this little plastic piece off because I don't want them to downgrade me. Uh, but I am going to throw this plastic piece into my um, steel pile. 
because there is steel going down to it. There is a, a steel shaft right there. So I'm just actually just gonna cut it and I'll throw the rest of this into my um, copper bearing motor bin. There are also still, right on the top here, some coated brass prongs, as you can see. I will take these off and all I do is just pull them off with a pair of pliers. Very simple. Okay, they snap off. And some people, what they will actually do is they will cut off the head like that. They will put this into their coated brass bucket. Uh, and then you can put the rest of the wire into your low grade wire bin. Some people leave them on there for the weight. I really don't see a difference in price. Um, I leave them on uh, when they're small like this. But other than that, there you have it. Um, from that trimmer, I have now just a little bit of plastic. I have a nice steel shaft that's gonna go into my steel bin. I have a nice copper berry motor. I have an insulated copper appliance wire that's gonna go into that pile for a dollar a pound. I have some silver from my silver contact box. I have some low grade wire, okay, and very little waste. Um, and also, sorry, more importantly as well, is the battery that I have diverted from the landfill and the water system um, if there was a battery. Okay, but this one, as I said, didn't come with it, so that was good. Hopefully they recycled it properly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.